After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, a small incision will be made above the umbilicus. Then a hollow needle will be inserted through the abdominal wall and the abdomen will be inflated with carbon dioxide. An umbilical port is created for the laparoscope. One or more incisions will be made with care taken to keep the openings as small as possible. Once in place, the laparoscope will provide video images that allow the surgeon to carefully cut the ligaments that connect the spleen to the diaphragm, as well as the spleen to the colon. Now the doctor can gently pull the liver aside, then pull back the stomach to reveal the spleen. All remaining tissue between the spleen and the stomach, including small blood vessels, as well as the spleen and diaphragm are cut. The main vessels that supply blood to the spleen, the splenic artery and the splenic vein are closed off and cut. Finally, the spleen is maneuvered into a special retrieval bag where it is broken into smaller pieces and removed through one of the laparoscopic working ports. All of the instruments are withdrawn, the carbon dioxide is allowed to escape and the skin is closed with sutures or staples. Finally, sterile dressings are applied.